How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be going over a solubility constant MCAT problem. This is the most common type of problem you're going to see on the MCAT exam and they're actually not too bad as long as you know how to solve them. So go ahead and pause this video, try to do the question on your own, and then we'll jump into it. So the solubility constant of barium sulfate, BASO4, is a common contrast agent used in fluoroscopy, which is a type of um, technique used in radiology typically to evaluate structures in the GI tract, although it can be used for other things, is 1.1 times 10 to the negative 10. What is the molar solubility of barium sulfate standard conditions? Now, if you haven't seen this type of question before, it might look a little strange, but it's actually not too bad. So the solubility constant is just a fancy way of saying the KEQ for an equation. And that KEQ is going to be the KEQ for the equation where solid barium sulfate dissolves into aqueous barium plus sulfate. And so just like in any KEQ, we're gonna have our concentrations of our products divided by the concentrations of our reactants. So we have the concentration of Ba2+, plus, concentration of SO42-, minus, and then we get to the concentration of barium sulfate here. The problem is we can't really measure a concentration of a solid, so we actually just leave that off. That's practically just going to be 1 here. So we can simplify this to just the concentration of Ba2+, plus and SO42-. minus. And you'll agree that if we put in, for example, one mole of barium sulfate, we would get equal parts of barium and sulfate that are dissolving here. So we can set up our equation such that Ksp is going to be equal to S squared, where S is our molar solubility of barium sulfate. And the MCAT will generally keep these questions nice and simple, where we have a one-to-one -one concentration of both of these. So we have S squared here. So they did give us the value for Ksp, which is 1.1 times 10 to the negative 10. And we're saying that's equivalent to S squared. So in order to get S by itself, we know we have to take the square root of 1.1 times 10 to the negative 10. Okay. So that looks a little tricky, and you're not going to get a calculator on the MCAT, of course. The way I like to think about it is we take 1.1 times 10 to the negative 10 to the one half power. That's the same thing as square rooting. And anytime we take something to the one half power and we have exponents already in the parentheses, we just multiply them together. So how I would think about this is we have 1.1 to the one half. That's gonna be a square root of one. I'm not really sure what that value is going to be, but fortunately they don't quiz us too much on that first number here. We know it's gonna be around 1.048 and then times 10 to the negative 10 times 1 half. Negative 10 times 1 half would be negative 5. So S, our solubility, or molar solubility rather, is going to be 1.048 times 10 to the negative 5th. So you can see that if we have that 1 to 1 concentration, like in barium sulfate, for every one molecule of barium, we have one molecule of sulfate. These questions are actually pretty simple to solve as long as you know the basic mechanism for which you're going to solve them without a calculator.